Portions of central New York are going through a dry spell, and that's causing some concern tonight. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, a wide portion of upstate is abnormally dry. That's what you see highlighted in yellow. While portions of northern Oswego and Jefferson counties are in the grips of a moderate drought, and as News Channel 9's Keith Koblen reports tonight, it's getting attention from both farmers and boaters alike. It's like anything. As soon as you know the surface is dry, as soon as you break it, you should see some darkness. But we're st it's still what I'd call a powdery darkness. When it comes to soil, you deal with what you get. Brian Reeves knows his stuff. His livelihood as a farmer depends on it. The litmus test sometimes people say is is when you walk across the field or scuffle it, you should see a little dust. And you can see uh, there's just a little bit of dust coming off my feet there. The dust I'm means dry, but Reeves isn't ready to push the panic button, at least not yet. Now, if this kept up for four months, then it would be. But right now we had a, a, a record dry March, we've had a record dry April, and uh, so we are drier than normal. About four inches shy of where we normally are, and it's getting attention from those who farm the land and those who use the waterways, like the Oneida River. Standing out here along the river it's hard to tell that water levels are lower, but they definitely are. In fact, if you look at structures alongside the river, you can see the levels have definitely dropped. I can see where the water line was, or I can see where zebra mussels were. Dave White is a recreation tourism specialist with the New York Sea Grant. He says all lakes, including Oneida Lake and Lake Ontario, are down by as much as several feet. It won't prevent boating, but it will mean boaters will have to be even more vigilant over underwater hazards. And also be thinking about where they might launch their boat and how they're getting access, because in some cases those areas are going to be shallower as well. Both Dave and Brian agree that it is still early and lots can change. With a few days like this, but it's something both of them have an eye on, whether here or here. Keith Koblen, News Channel 9. Now, while the lack of rain is causing concern, the mild weather over the past few weeks will have a side benefit. Brian Reeves tells us the local strawberry crops will be ready for picking later this month, which is a week earlier than normal.